good morning, happy Sunday. It is 7.30 in the morning and as you can see, Mr Fawcett has already been up for a while uh, getting his um, beef dinner ready. Getting me underpants on. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'll be getting in the shower you'll later. You'll have to excuse me as well. So, can you tell them what you've done so far? No, I don't think I can. Right, I've put the beef in. Beef in... We've got, we've got, we've got a top... We've got, um, I don't know if it's top side or sunny side or whatever side. But we've got some beef from Mark's yesterday. So yeah, I showed gone, you that. That's gone straight in the in the slow cooker. Mm. So the beef joint is in the slow cooker just on its own? On its own, yeah. Yeah. And then you've peeled... I've just chopped, and... I just, yeah, just peeled and chopped some carrots to make um, Sweden carrot mash later. And we've got the broccoli already. Would you like to see me sweet? This is half seven in the morning. Cut. How are you going to cook that? I'm going to put it in a pan with, with carrots. No, you're not. <laughs> we have this argument every time. You're doing it by cut, singing sweet. Yeah, I'm going to sing to the sweet and it'll cook. Right, anyway. What I'm doing, if I have to fight for the kitchen, is um, I'm going to have some waffles, oaty waffles for my breakfast. Oh, uh, I found, I mean, I have made waffles before, uh, but I have found a recipe that I fancy on the Pinch of Non website. So I will, I'm going to do the first part um, and then probably take Charlie out and then come back and make it. Because I find that if you're eating your breakfast and you're thinking, oh, I've got to take my dog out for a walk, you can't really enjoy it. So I think what I'm going to do is make my mix up, leave it to soak for a bit, take Charlie out and come back. So shall we see how we do it? So just to add with the beef in the slow cooker, Andrew says he switched it on at 6.30 this morning and it's on low and he expects it to take about eight hours. So we'll see. I don't think we've done it this way before, or not for a long time. So it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. Right, so onto my um, making my waffle mix. So I'm going to weigh out 40 grams of oats for my healthy extra B. Forty grams of oats, then two eggs, then what you want to add is some um, fat free yoghurt. You can use a flavoured one if you want, um, it's up to you. I'm just going to flavour mine with some um, different flavourings which I'll show you. So the recipe says 175 grams of yoghurt. I'm not going to use that much. I'm going to use a couple of good teaspoons. So that is about 70 grams of yoghurt and I'll probably I'll probably um, serve some more at the side, um, also because I've used two eggs. Charlie's at it again. Then you want some sweetener. So if you're using normal granulated sweetener, it would be three quarters of a tablespoon. But I'm going to use a couple of squirts of uh, white chocolate skinny syrup. Then I'm going to put a capful of vanilla extract in, or one teaspoon. Then I'm also going to add, because these are going to be like strawberry flavoured, I'm going to add some strawberry um, food professional flavour. So you just need a couple of drops of that. I just got this from, um, that's enough. Where did I get it from? 
can't remember whether I got it from Lakeland or Amazon. Right, and then I'm going to blitz my oats. I've just unplugged the slow cooker for a minute, don't tell Andrew. I heard that. Because we, only, we have a double plug over here on the island and only one works. So I'm just going to um, blend my oats. <laughs> blended and it's a quite a thick texture um, it is a good idea to leave it in the fridge for a little while just to thicken up a little so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some um, uh, leggings or whatever on take Charlie out and uh, then I'll come back and my mixture will have thickened a little bit and it'll have had time to rest and get some flavor I also need to defrost some frozen fruit to go with it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this breakfast. Right, so I'm back from walking Charlie. I've just put my dressing gown back on for warmth. I've got my waffle machine here and some fry light. It's been heating for a little while. <coughs> so just spray your machine with fry light. Or you can buy waffle, mold, waffle molds from Amazon. Your mixture should be slightly thickened now and just fill it with the mix. I'll just scrape that out a little bit. Just spread the mix. Spread the mixture over a little bit, make sure all the mould is full. And that will probably take about five minutes. I turned the waffles after a few minutes and you can see they're nicely done on one side. And that's the other side, but they are done now. Unplug it while I remember. And Andrew went to find a double plug extension, so now we can use the same plug. So I've got my bowl ready. And then I've got my defrosted strawberries and raspberries. I'll go on one side. And I've got a little bit of sweetened yogurt, a little bit more sweetened yogurt. I'll put that on the other side. Mm. Chef's perks. And then let me get my scales. I'm just going to top it with some of this agave nectar. And 15 grams of this is half a sip. And there we go. Strawberry and raspberry waffles. Sorry, strawberry and vanilla waffles for my healthy extra B with sweetened yogurt and defrosted fruit and half a sin of agave nectar. I've also got a coffee. I've got my healthy extra B and half a sin and doesn't that look delicious? 
So what we're doing now is making our Yorkshire pudding batter in advance because it's good to let it rest. So in here I've got 25 grams of plain flour, which is four sins. Then we've got one egg in here. There's going to be two eggs in here in a minute. Two eggs. Thank you, dear. Right, the way I do Yorkshire pudding batter is I use it, this glass. Mm. So basically, depending on how much you want, because there's only going to be t enough for two of us today, um, I'm going to put that amount of egg in. So it's two eggs there. So it basically, it's just under halfway of the of this glass. Mm. So I'll put that in there like that. <laughs> 25 grams of plain flour. Of plain flour. Four sins. But I'm going to have to put, I'll put that in there. And as you can see, it's nowhere near where the eggs came up to. Because of the way I make a batter, whatever your eggs come up to, everything else has got to come up to the same level. So that's roughly where the eggs came up to. So we've ended up doubling the mixture, so we have two eggs in here, 50 grams of flour and 100 ml of milk and if we make four Yorkshire puddings out of that it will be two sins a Yorkshire pudding for the flour and the, the 25 ml of milk for me will go towards my healthy extra A, otherwise it would be about two and a half to three sins. So we're going to let that rest for a while um, and then we'll show you how we cook them. I'm going to start preparing the swede as well. So what you want to do is just take a whole swede, this is a smallish size one, put it on a plate, no pricking, cutting, slicing, anything like that, straight into the microwave and we'll cook it on one side for about 12 minutes we'll go for and we'll turn it and do it for probably another 12 minutes on the other side. 20 past 11 now and shower done and hair washed and dressed so I'm looking a bit more like now. Uh, I've just got a hot sugar free juice, um, the swede is done and all you do is uh, cut the top off and scoop the flesh out and you've got singing swede mash and what Andrew will do with that is boil the carrots and mash the swede and carrot together for swede and carrot mash. So I'm just having five minutes with my cuppa and then I'm going to get on to lunch. Lunch was meant to be an egg wrap but I used the wrong pan so it's an omelette instead. So I've got a two egg omelette with two Linda McCartney rose and red onion sausages which are free on the plan. I've got a cheese slice and half a sin or 50% reduced sugar and salt ketchup so a tablespoon of that is half a sin and then I've got a salad, green leaves, peppers, cucumber, red onion and tomatoes with salt and balsamic vinegar, half a sin for my um, tomato ketchup and the cheese slice is half my health extra B and I'm having almond milk and milk in my Yorkshire pudding for the other half and I've got a pink lady apple and an easy peeler with a diet lemonade and Andrew's having soup and a baguette again. Just coming up to two o'clock and we're just about to have a drink which I'll show you in a minute but we have decided to take the beef out of the slow cooker. So how many hours has it been in? 
Five, so, six. Well, I turned it off at half past one, so it was in seven hours before I switched it off. So it's been in seven hours, and now we're just taking it out, wrapping it in foil. Is it done, Dad? Mm. So what will you do? Will you heat that up in the microwave or put it back in the slow cooker when you want to warm it up? Um, I'll probably heat it up in the microwave. Yeah. Yeah. But look at that. That looks very, very nice, and I think it'll certainly do us more than one dinner. I see pulled pork, pulled beef, egg wraps coming up for me. We've just tasted a bit of the beef and what did you say it was? What was did I say what it was? What was the beef taste like? Gorgeous. It was lovely, really, really soft and nice. I can't wait to have that with our dinner. But in the meantime, we're having coffees and Snacks, can you guess whose plate is whose? That's mine. This is my coffee made with almond milk and white chocolate skinny syrup. I've got a chopped pear. Andrew has a coffee made with semi skim milk, two teaspoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of coffee whitener. And you can see what he's got there. I've no idea on the sins. And um, there's my pear. Me and Andrew are just walking Charlie down one of our local country lanes. It's quite a pleasant mild day. Here he is. Come on then. This is about the nicest uh, walk you can get around here if you're not walking on the actual streets. And Andrew decided to come with me. Yeah. I did, yes, that's why I'm here, you see. I think we're both looking forward to our beef roast dinner, so we're getting some appetite up. Come on. Where's he gone? Where's Charlie? He's there. Back from our walk. And we have the roast potatoes in the active fryer. We've patted them dry and we're going to make um, oxo roast potatoes. So we've got the fry light. Obviously, as I say, we've just patted them dry in a tea towel. And then we've got an oxo cube, a beef one. Want to scatter that over your potatoes you can also do this in the oven if you want to and they'll take probably about half an hour in the active fry oh yeah and then we've got our potato and carrot mash and our broccoli and we've got our yorkshire pudding tin i've got two sprayed with fry light and the rest with lard for andrew and we'll warm that up and pour the mixture in and shortly we'll be enjoying our roast dinner. Yorkshire puddings are well on their way to cooking. I'll have two of those at one sin each because 50, um, 50 grams of flour has made eight Yorkshire puddings. So they'll be about a sin each and the milk will be part of my healthy extra A. And then we got this beef gravy from M&S. And it's just add beef gravy and for the packet it's seven and a half sins. So I'll have a third of it for two and a half sins. And we've got the veg out ready. And I think, are these just about done? They're done. Done, they just need warming through. Yum, yum. And here is our beef roast dinner. Yum, yum. So we've got oxo roast potatoes, which are free on the plan, done in the active fry with a um, oxo cube beef. We've got broccoli and sweet and carrot mash. Uh, that is speed food and free, no no um, butter or anything. Then we've got the beef, which is a beef joint, 
cooked in the slow cooker for about six hours. We've got some pickled onions, which go really nice with beef. I've got two Yorkshire puddings, which are one sin each. And then I've got about a third of the Marks and Spencer's beef gravy, which is two and a half sins. So four and a half sins on the plate. Then I've got some flavoured quark, just with white chocolate skinny syrup and strawberry flavour and some defrosted raspberries and a sugar-free Vimto. Who wants to eat it? I do. Well, that was absolutely delicious and we are both stuffed. We're really pleased with how the beef came out. It was really tender, it just fell apart. It was really, really tasty. And the whole dinner for four and a half sins. It was amazing, really, really nice. Mr. Andrew Fawcett, baker? Yes. yes. Mrs. Deborah Falls, what? What did you think to your slow cooker beef roast dinner? Um, yeah, it was gorgeous, wasn't it? The meat, the meat made it, didn't it? It was. Yeah. The, the meat was something else. It was. I think it was the best piece of beef I've ever had in my life. So that was from Marks and Spencer's. It wasn't cheap. But I, think, it, I think the beef helped because it yeah. was a really lean. I mean, there was a bit of fat on it yeah. anywhere. Um. But I think the slow cooker made made a really big difference as well. Mm. Really, yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. And the, the roast potatoes were amazing. The veg, oh, totally stuffed now though. Charlie's had a little bit in his bowl, just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, so we're all happy. And we're going to have another evening of relaxing in front of the telly. But we've had about a good 45 minute walk. Um, I'm already on over 10,000 steps, but I'll let you know the final total when I eat my supper, which will probably be quite a bit later. Right, so it's going up to eight o'clock and we're finally ready for something to eat. Um, I've got my coffee, which is made with almond milk and skinny syrup and beanies Irish cream. So I've had one cheese slice and almond milk for my Healthy Extra A and oats in my waffles for my Healthy Extra B. Um, then I've got a flour and white chocolate meringue bar for five sins. Uh, some french fries ready salted for four sins. And a fresh nectarine. So I've got nine sins there. And I've had five and a half sins for the rest of the day. So I end on 14 and a half sins and 11,600 steps. Thank you very much for watching.